this will only take a few moments this is going to be a relatively short video so uh, click to remove the splash screen and uh, we're going to push number seven on the numpad and we're going to push five on the numpad for orthographic view and we're going to press shift a to add a text and we want to push t for text and we want to push tab to go into edit mode and we can backspace and type in our text uh, in this example I'm gonna use John Rowe alright which uh, a lot of people think it's Doe but I believe originally it was Roe uh, in reference to Roe vs Wade uh, anyway we'll move on we want to sorry when you're done typing in the text you want to hit tab to go back into object mode and then you want to go over here to set origin and you want to click origin to geometry all right from here you want to press control s oh whoops messed that one up shift s and you want to snap it to center N or i'm sorry i always mess that up selection to cursor there we go right to the center we're halfway there folks so at this point right here with your mouse over the 3d window you want to hold control alt and numpad zero and that brings the camera into view like this at this point would be a good time to go over here i'm going to slide this open and i'm going to just scroll in just a little bit and go to the fonts data button and you want to go down here to the extrude button and I'm going to type point one enter alright and then we're going to go to where we've downloaded the font from the website and uh, I decided to take English essay right here which I will open and there we go and uh, we're going to over the object or the 3D window with the mouse cursor you want to push S for scale and we're just gonna scale this up till it's almost to the edge of the camera view alright now our text is, is still a text so we want to hit uh, control alt C or no alt C and we want to mesh from curve or text so now we just converted it to a mesh and we want to go over here to the material tab and click new and standard would be a black ink so we're gonna just take it right on down to black um you know what maybe we'll go with a slight gray all right and we want to go shadeless right here most inks are shadeless now we're almost done thank you for following me here we're gonna go to the render display we want to turn up the render percentage resolution to 100 percent all right now we want to take the X axis and we want to click and drag until we get just the area around the words and I'm actually gonna take it down a little further and I'm gonna click this little arrow the Y axis arrow and just drag it up a little bit and that's pretty good the last thing we need to do here is go down here to shading go over here to sky and click transparent alright so everything is done and what we want to do is render this out and it's a little hard to see but it's because it's on a transparent background and I just happen to match up the color almost perfectly um, we're gonna go down here to save the image and we're gonna save image as I'm choosing on my desktop and I'm gonna type John just that simple I like to save it as a PNG okay and just out of curiosity we hit escape and I'm going to go over to the materials tab 
and we're going to change this color up to like a blue. Yeah, let's just do a blue. All right. And we're going to go back here and we're going to go render. And it came off of, as a blue. And we're going to go here to image. We're going to save image as. And we're going to do John blue. All right. Now that we're done with this, all right, let's just go ahead and switch to a document, a Word document type folder, which in this example I'm using WordPad. And we're just going to go ahead and go to picture and import a picture and it's on my desktop. And we're gonna go with John. I believe that was the one. I like that, that's not too bad. I'm not familiar with this uh, program very much, but you can usually scale down in most programs. Uh, I'm sure you have your favorites, but uh, we can adjust it. Maybe we do need to make that bigger. So let's size that up a little bit more so and we'll go like that and you know what just for giggles I'm going to import the blue one and John blue there we go and we'll just take it like that the other program I used was a little easier but now when you print it out you can see it looks like a signature and uh, it would be saved with the transparent background so it overlays on top of anything um, this program is not very useful in showing you all the applications but uh, I want to say thank you very much for joining us and I hope I didn't take up too much of your time